Thursday on Rounding the Bases. I hope all of you are enjoying March Madness already and that for the sake of your dignity and your bracket that doesn't all get busted on the first day of the uh, NCAA's first real full right. day yeah. of the NCAA tournament. That's happened to me a couple of times where my team loses and I'm like, well, dang. What? I just like, put all this effort yeah, in. exactly, exactly. But Ten minutes that weren't very well spent. No, yeah. <laughs> good luck to everybody participating in our Beat the GM challenge. Uh, usually our GM, Dave Zidellis, does pretty well. He's a big college basketball fan, so hopefully you guys did your research and uh, have a good good enough bracket to beat him and earn some cool prizes. Let's talk some baseball stuff. You know, we normally talk promotions on Thursday, but yesterday some pretty drastic changes came down for minor league baseball uh, to improve pace of play in minor league games. The first initiative will limit the number of mound visits that can occur, not just by coaches, but also by position players as well. The limit will be 10 in Carolina League games. Personally, I'm in favor of this because it seems like catchers going out talking to pitchers is a real reason that the game slows down. Yeah, I'm in favor of it too. You're definitely going to have to be more aware of what you know when you go take those mound visits. And there's certain exceptions to the rule, like if it's rainy, a player can go, you know, get his spikes cleaned off. And I'm sure that there'll be still be the courtesy between the catcher and the umpire if one of them, you know, takes it off the face or the chest or something needs a couple extra seconds. Then they'll allow that. Uh, but overall, I like that rule. The, the second rule that's being implemented is like the California tiebreaker rule where you start a runner at second base in extra innings. Not sure if right now without seeing it, I can get behind that. I can't get behind it. Yeah. And the reason is because you start with a runner at second base, you bump the runner over to third, and then all it takes is a ground ball to the right side of the infield or a sacrifice fly. I mean, you'd assume that the infield would be in, but still, sacrifice fly, you're able to hit the ball past the draw in an infield a lot easier. Yeah. I don't necessarily think that it will resolve extra innings. I think we could still be seeing 15 and 16 inning games even with this new thing thrown in there. You know you there. could see is a perfect game and still lose. Yes, because you Because that runner at second, it's not officially an error or anything. He doesn't get on by a hit, so. Sacrifice bunt. A, a lot of interesting things to, to see with that rule change. Yeah, sacrifice bunt, ground ball to somebody. They don't have a play at the plate. You don't give up a hit, and yet you can still lose. That, really stinks. Yeah. I'm in favor of the spring training special, which is you add one extra inning to the game, and if it's not resolved by then, just call it a tie. Sure. Baseball purists, shoot me. <laughs> I, I really think that is better than kind of the shenanigans yeah. of this runner at second base thing. But that's just our take. Maybe yeah. some of you think a little bit differently. Uh, let us know on social media what your thoughts are on these new rule changes. Uh, he's Kyle. I'm Jeff. Talk to you next week.